Hey, so as you guys know, most fields are closed, uh, which means no airsoft. So during this time, I actually did something I've wanted to do for a while, which was paint my ARP-9. Uh, I got mine before the Super Ranger kits came out, uh, but I didn't really want to pay for the $90. It's basically just an anodized replacement parts. Uh, so after some Reddit posts and some other preparation, I felt ready to do my own gun. So the materials that are neat are really simple. Uh, I just used uh, some spray paint, a Sharpie, uh, masking tape, and then I also had an Expo marker, which uh, I'll explain later. Uh, so really simple and easy materials. Now again, this is an Air P9 and all guns look and perform differently, but hopefully it gives you some inspiration and knowledge uh, if you want to paint your gun. I decided to start with my stock and I used masking tape to cover the parts that I did not want painted. So here is what the finished product looks like. Uh, as you can see, you don't see anything else except for these two metal stock prongs, whatever you want to call them. Um, be careful to make sure the masking tape is closed down so the paint can't leak under it. You know, any open flaps that kind of stick up. Uh, and be generous with the masking tape. You really want to carry or cover the whole thing to make sure all of it's secure. Um, and I use even the little Q-tips to uh, push it down in some spots down here where it needed to be pushed down. It's always a good idea to make sure you cover your area down before you spray paint, which I did here. So it's all dried up and now it's just time to unwrap the masking tape off of it. Next, I wanted to do the magazine and I decided to use Sharpie for this. Although spray paint is usually the ideal, it should only be used if you want the whole piece painted for stuff like, you know, the bolt, charging handles, suppressors, and things you can take off and paint completely separately. For uh, the magazine, I wanted to use Sharpie because I wanted more like a decal on it. Um, and that's kind of what Sharpie's used for. It's the decals and drawings and small, super little areas that, you know, spray paint can't uh, reach effectively. Do note, though, that Sharpie does not really stick to metal well. As you can see, I was doing this little piece, uh, and it wasn't really going on well. It rubbed off a couple days later, so I would use spray paint for more metal stuff. Another thing is that you can actually use a black Expo marker to erase Sharpie from a black gun. Again, you could try this on a tan or like a steel or something gun. I haven't done it yet, though, so I can't speak for it. But let's say, you know, I put uh, my gold sharpie on the plastic part and I did want it, I can use just the expo marker and write on it and scrape it off because the alcohol content will scrape it away. Um, and then I just get a cloth and wipe any expo residue off and it works super well. So after spray painting a couple more parts and going over other stuff, I finally have it done, I think. Um, you know, I think I achieved a really good balance of having both the gold and black. I didn't want to overdo it on one, you know. I didn't want to make it a golden blob, but I also liked it to show. Um, this was a super fun project. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section and I will be sure to respond. All right, well, this is the part of the video where I beg you guys for subscriptions. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, and for my next video, if you guys remember my high kappa. Well, this is it $400 later. Um, I think I'm going to do like a whole parts list, upgrade, just kind of an update on it. You know, what I think is good, what I think is bad, what I would do over again. Uh, just some insights on it. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching, and that'll be it.